Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed, and I'm here with a very interesting topic, how to write the abstract. How to write the abstract? Yes, in the previous video, we talked about the types of abstract and what abstract is. But here, today, we'll talk about how to write an abstract. Remember, it depends on the journal's requirements. Every journal can have their own requirements. Some journals will ask you to write a long abstract. Some journals will ask you to write a short abstract. Some journals will, write, will ask you to write an abstract with headings. Some will ask you to write without headings. So what is it? What do you do? Now let's talk about this. When, are you, when you are writing a research article, you start with an abstract. Usually abstract is written in the end, by the way. Just letting you know. But let's say you are writing the abstract as the first thing first. So abstract will, first of all, you need to see what are the journal's requirement. So you must have chosen a journal. Now let's say the journal says you need to write an informative abstract. What does that mean? It means that the journal wants you to have all the components. Journal wants you to have all the components of, of uh, an abstract. Introduction, method, results, discussion. Now, if the journal says write structured abstract, it means the journal is saying that write an abstract with headings. But if the journal says unstructured abstract, please write an unstructured informative abstract, it means that probably journal, it actually means that they are saying write an abstract in a paragraph format, no need for headings. It's that simple. So you need to see what are the author guidelines of the journal you are targeting? Every journal has the author guidelines. Some journals don't care about it. Most journals will not care about what is the, the design, or I mean, what is the, uh, the style of your abstract. But some journals may, may ask you for a specific structured abstract, or some uh, may ask you unstructured abstract. So remember these terminologies. Structured abstract means with headings. Unstructured means without headings. Now, if they don't explain what type of abstract, descriptive or informative, then you go with informative because that's the most common one. So if they mention descriptive, then do write descriptive abstract, just the introduction and method. But most of the time, they will not mention what kind of abstract do they want. If they say, just write a structured abstract, it means they're actually asking you to write an informative abstract. Now, your introduction method results discussion. All four components, Introduction, method, results, and discussion. All four components will be 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. So descriptive, as, let's say informative abstract has 250 words, right? So divide it into four. That means, that means you have now 60 words for introduction, 60 or 65, 60 words for method, 60 for results, 64, 60 or 65 for conclusion. So 25%, keep it equal. Or, or, give more to discussion section, more percentage, maybe 40% and then 20, 20, 20. 20 for introduction, 20 for method, 20 for results, and 40 for discussion. So this is how you divide it. Now, what about the tables and figures? Do you bring tables and figures in the abstract? No, unless the journal allows it. Otherwise, no need. If it's conference abstract, yes, you can. Depending upon the conference, ask the conference, uh, organizers if it is allowed and then use it now what about the references will you have any references in the abstract absolutely no there will be no abstract uh, there will be no references in the abstract there will be no references in the abstract section so remember that so you will have the abstract written all parts will be mentioned mostly informative abstract if the journal mentions nothing go with informative if the journal mentions informative, go with informative. If the journal mentions descriptive, now don't go with informative. Write a descriptive abstract. And the length, 250 words, usually 200 to 250 words for informative, and descriptive is 200, uh, sorry, 100 to 150 words. Now, uh, critical abstract, very rarely used, and highlight abstract, not used most mainly. Uh, so mainly these three are the critical, the descriptive, and the Informative abstract, these are the ones that you will find academically. But as I said, most of the time is informative. And no references, no tables, no figures. 
and uh, that's it this is how you write abstract write it in the past tense or yes you can write in present tense as well so how do you do it look at the journal and look at their previous papers look at how other people have written look at the language style use that style and remember use active voice it's better to use active voice in academic articles so follow these approaches that I have mentioned in this video apply that watch the video again and you will be able to write a wonderful abstract if you have any question comment below and I'll get back to you thank you have a good day